Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So Microsoft is busy finalizing our next Windows 11 optional bug fix C release update that um, they started testing um, on Friday in the release preview channel. And because this is undergoing now its final testing in preview, I would suggest that if we don't see it this week, um, I would suggest that it would start rolling out next week, Tuesday, the 28th of May. Now, this is going to be quite a major update when it makes its way to the stable channel um, because currently they are testing, uh, in final preview, they are testing 11 new features. Now, it's still in preview, so it's not guaranteed that all 11 features will roll out, but nonetheless, that is still quite a significant amount of new features that could make their way into stable um, over the next coming days. So I'm just going to go through this as quickly as possible. And first of all, um, once that update, which is rolling out, has been applied, which by the way will be KB5037853, that's our next optional C release update for Windows 11, 22H2 and 23H2. The OS builds uh, will be bumped up from 22621 for 22H2 to 0.3668. And for 23H2, that will obviously be the same point release. And that build will be 22631.3668. Now, first of all, um, the first new feature is the update adds PC Manager to devices in China. So obviously that now can be downloaded from the Microsoft Store if you are finding yourself in China. And PC Manager is really similar to other PC optimization apps as I've been posting on the channel like CCleaner and so on. And if you want more information regarding PC Manager, just do a search accordingly on the channel. So that's now going to be available two devices in China. Now there's quite a lot going on with Windows Share uh, in this update. They are focusing a lot on the Share dialog and window when these features roll out. So I'm just going to mention a couple of these. The update adds a feature that stops you from accidentally closing the Windows Share window because currently when you click outside of the window, um, it closes it. So with this update, it will no longer close the Windows Share window. You'll have to click on the X button, which I think will be a nice handy feature. And then um, we'll have a look at some other Windows Share features as we get to them. Um, I'm just going through the release notes as they are mentioned by Microsoft. And the next one I think is going to be a nice move in the right direction for a lot of users. And you can now and will be able to use your mouse to drag files between breadcrumbs in the File Explorer address bar. And basically the breadcrumbs are as an example, um, that's personal pictures and thumbnails. So currently, you are not able to do that. They removed that feature in a previous update, which caused a lot of debate. So you'll be able to now drag files and pop them into the relevant folders straight into the address bar, which I think is a nice move in the right direction. And something I forgot to mention at the outset of this video, a lot of these 11 new features are going to be rolling out using a gradual phase rollout. So as mentioned, you may see some of these and um, when the update is released to stable, you may not, but most of these, Microsoft says the feature might not be available to all users because it will roll out gradually. So just take note of that. But I think being able to drag and drop those files now into address bar folders, I think is once again a nice move in the right direction. And then you'll also be able to directly share to specific Microsoft Teams channels. Once again, as mentioned, using uh, Windows Share. And Microsoft says, though, to do so, you must sign in using a Microsoft Entra ID. And then the update adds a page to settings account called linked devices. So if we head to our settings, when it does roll out to stable, um, on this page, you're also going to get over and above account settings for different um, components of the uh, the OS, you're now going to get a entry called linked devices. And on it, Microsoft says you can manage your PCs and Xbox controls. And this page only shows on home and pro editions when you sign into Windows using your Microsoft account. So obviously, this is Microsoft pushing a lot of the uh, users now to obviously want them to sign in with a Microsoft account for some strange reason and not a local account. And then the update starts the rollout of the new account manager on the start menu. And um, this I posted on where basically, and I'll leave this video in the end screen, where you're now going to get 
on the um, the start menu. Um, so Microsoft says when you use a Microsoft account to sign into Windows, you will get a glance of your account benefits. So that's going to basically be another so-called ad, for want of a better word. Uh, but Microsoft says um, this feature also makes it easy to manage your account settings. Now, some may regard this a feature. Others may regard this an ad. But nonetheless, it starts the rollout of new account manager on the start menu. And I'll leave that video in the end screen if you'd like some more info. Then moving on to the next one. And uh, you can now create quick responses. Well, when it rolls out, you'll be able to create quick responses, QR codes for web page URLs and cloud files. Once again, from the Windows Share window. So as I mentioned, a lot going on with Windows Share. And basically what you'll do is you'll select the Share button in the Microsoft Edge toolbar and choose Windows Share options when that does roll out, obviously, to the stable version. And then here's another one. Um, Windows will now, when it rolls out, back up many of your sound settings. This includes your sound scheme, which I actually think is a nice move. And this will only occur if you turn on Remember My Preferences and select the checkboxes for personalization and other Windows settings. So for this, basically, you'd have to head to your accounts, head to Windows Backup, and here you go, Remember My Preferences, and that's going to be a setting here, basically, to remember your sound scheme when it does roll out to the stable version. And uh, um, obviously, Microsoft says then you can use the Windows Backup app to restore those settings on a new device. So I actually think that's a nice move, being able to remember my preferences, and they're going to have now your sound scheme added to those options and those choices. And then moving on to the next, and as mentioned, we have give or take 11 new features to get through, and we've got three left for the purpose of this video. And... You can also now send email to yourself from the Windows Share window and Microsoft says you will receive the email at the email address that is in your Microsoft account. So lots going on with Windows Share. And the update starts the rollout of, a, of the Add Now button to Settings Account. So basically what this is all about, when you select it, you can add a recovery email address if you have not added one for your Microsoft account yet, the button only shows if you sign into your Microsoft account. So once again, and um, that's all to do with the account uh, settings page. It's going to add an Add Now button um, to settings. And when you select it, you can add a recovery email address if you have not added one for your Microsoft account. And then the last one is regarding the Windows Backup app. And... Starting with the update, when it rolls out, you'll be able to sign into your Microsoft account in the Windows Backup app. So that's just another little um, Microsoft account-related improvement and a feature regarding that. So those are the uh, 11 new features. As I mentioned, quite a lot going on with this, most of those regarding Windows Share. Now, if you want to stick around, because this will be a bug fix update, just to mention a couple of important fixes um, um, that you may be interested in. And I've just pulled a couple out uh, for the purpose of this video. Now, first of all, the update will address a known issue that affects your account profile picture. And when you try to change it, uh, you might get an error message. As I've mentioned previously, um, the error code is 0x8007520. And I've posted on that, and I'll leave that video on that known issue as well here in the end screen. So I think that's an important bug fix rolling out. And the update addresses an issue um, that affects the File Explorer. Apparently, it stopped responding when you swipe from a screen edge. So obviously, this is um, for touchscreen devices. The issue occurred after you turn off edge swiping. And the update addresses an issue that affects handwriting panels and touch keyboards. They do not appear when you use a pen. And the update will also address an issue that displays a hidden window. Its title bar has apparently no content and no client area. And this occurred when you share your screen using certain apps. And that's also another key improvement and bug fix. And the update addresses an issue that distorts parts of the screen. This occurs, as an example, um, when you use a Chromium-based browser to play a video, which would be Chrome, Edge, Brave, Vivaldi, and so on. And then... Just three more to go for the purpose of this video, guys. And the update addresses an issue that affects File Explorer once again. It takes up to two minutes 
to start when you pin a folder that is on a network share to quick access. And obviously, this is your quick access menu here. And those will appear here on your home page as your quick access menu as well. So that's an important performance improvement for the file explorer when that rolls out to stable. And then the second last one, the update addresses an issue that affects Bluetooth low energy LE audio headsets. Apparently, they didn't show the option to connect or disconnect. And the update addresses an issue that affects the share button on USB controllers. It might not work with the game bar. So as mentioned, quite a lot going on with our next optional bug fix C release update rolling out for Windows 11 um, coming, coming soon over the next couple of days. And that's KB5037853. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.